the Etruscan shrew. At 1.8 grams or less than one tenth of an ounce, it's the smallest known mammal on the planet. The blue whale. At 100 million times the mass of the tiny shrew, it's not only the largest mammal, but the largest known creature to ever exist. Its tongue alone can weigh as much as an elephant, heart as big as a small car, and flukes, the span of a small aircraft's wings. An adult blue whale can grow to more than 30 metres long and weigh more than 180,000 kilograms. Much larger whales have been reported but not scientifically documented. Not so long ago, this magnificent creature was not revered as it is today. Almost brought to the brink of extinction, it was hunted for its meat, skin, blubber, organs and baleen. Although hunting the blue whale was banned in 1966, it still faces multiple man-made threats today such as ship strikes, pollution, ocean noise and climate change. In 2018, the International Union for Conservation of Nature listed the blue whale as endangered. Today, the blue whale's numbers are slowly increasing. Now, the blue whale is famous for its incredible size. But still, there's a lot more to learn about these magnificent creatures. Interestingly enough, we'd walked on the moon before we'd even seen a blue whale underwater. What we do know is that blue whales are placental mammals, meaning the foetus develops in the uterus of the mother. After seven months, the foetus is about 3.5 metres long, or 11 and a half feet. Calves are born tail first at 12 months and can weigh up to 3,000 kilograms. Feeding on its mother's fat and rich milk, it consumes about 180 litres a day, growing at a daily rate of 90 kilograms. Reaching adulthood, they are capable of engulfing 80,000 litres of water when lunge feeding. They say that their enormous mouths are capable of holding 100 people. Anyway, back to science facts. During the summer months, the Antarctic blue whale can consume more than 6,000 kilograms of nutritious krill a day. And they feed like this for months on end in Antarctica's cold polar seas before migrating north to more tropical waters to give birth and breed, as the gestation period of blue whales happens to be about 12 months. The blue whale's heart rate can drop to just two beats per minute when diving at depths and when back up at the surface it can rise up to 37 beats per minute. Blue whales can dive for up to an hour at a time and the greatest depth recorded was 315 meters or 1033 feet. team from Stanford University at the Hopkins Marine Station in Pacific Grove, California have been studying the whale's feeding behaviour, tracking their movements when they dive using suction cup sensors which are also equipped with front and back facing cameras. Causing no harm or distress to the whales, these sensors record their movements when diving during feeding. After a period of time, the suction cups release and the sensors float to the surface to be collected using GPS tracking. Not only can they analyze the data and create a 3D model of its movements, including the depths that they dive and the speed and acceleration rate when lunge feeding, but they can also observe the physical aspects of the whale using the footage collected. When diving to around 100 meters, or rising to near the surface to capture up to four and a half thousand calories in one mouthful. Ongoing research and conservation efforts are crucial to the survival of this absolutely magnificent creature who was here on this planet on which we share long before we even started making tools to hunt the animals that we ate to survive.
In modern society, we no longer need to hunt animals in the wild just to survive. We need to protect and revere all life on this planet. We are not the only creatures that have evolved here, but we have made ourselves the custodians. Now, before you leave, I've added a little bonus at the end of this video for all you die-hard blue whale lovers. I've added a little bit of footage with some quotes and a blues song. Well, a blue whale singing. Thanks for dropping in today. Links, share, comment, subscribe. Give that like button a whack. You know the drill. I'm Brossy. This has been The Wow Factor. Look after yourself. Look after your loved ones. Look after this beautiful planet we call home. See you next time. And there's still a tremendous amount that we don't know about them. The big question, how do we create a real awareness? But an animal that really represents the wild nature still on our planet. We hope that that will inspire people to really think a little bit more about their impact on the oceans and how we can do something about it.